The Unto remake is just 6 weeks away and early this week the pre-order officially started. With that, the last big question mark surrounding the remake was finally answered, how much is the game gonna cost? And well... Jesus, hot sauce, Christmas cake, this is fucking unbelievable. The Unto remake officially costs 70 euros. 70 euros try to understand understand the palm of my hand bitch that is honestly batshit insane i knew that the remake wouldn't be cheap but not that expensive either as a matter of fact my prediction slash wish would have been at 50 euros instead which would make it more expensive than the casting of frank stone but also a bit cheaper than other new aaa titles 70 euros is honestly really really crazy and has sparked a lot of discussion within the community and even among friends of mine that have now already stated that they will wait for once the game is on sale i wanted to make this video to answer a very simple question that will hopefully help some of you with whatever or not you should buy the game upon release is the Unto Dawn remake worth it? Or to be more specific, is it worth 70 fucking euros? To start things off, let's first of all clarify something. I know that a lot of people keep saying that it's not a remake, but rather a remaster, due to the fact that unlike previously hoped, the game does not suddenly change off of its existing story to make up for new paths and more. We will have a rework prologue that will see new scenes, but other than the previously announced new small areas that can be explored, we should not expect any big additional scenes throughout the rest of the story, which already mentioned would have required tons of rewriting, but as the studio said the idea was never to change or remake the story of Unto Dawn, so is it even a remake? To some degree yes, because the game is fully freshly built in an entirely new engine and looks so much better, and for all we know will run smoother while also providing the new camera system and more technical upgrades. So while not a remake in sense of a remake story, it is a remake in every sense of the technical or graphical matter with some additional new minor content. If that's not enough to be qualified as a remake for you and rather just a graphic remaster, then that's your opinion. You definitely cannot call it only a PC port because this newly built engine version of Unto Dawn will also arrive on PlayStation 5, even though you can play the original Unto Dawn on PS5 as well. And this brings us to the much bigger part of the story. There were a couple of people that ever since the announcement said that this game didn't need a remake in the first place because the original game holds up really well to this day. And while I 100% agree in sense of story, seeing how the remake looks from the teasers, a visual and technical upgrade is more than welcome. But is that enough? Is a visual and technical upgrade with new but minor content enough to warrant a remake in the first place? Because here is what a lot of people out there that already own a PlayStation 4 will ask themselves. Why should I pay 70 euros or 60 dollars or whatever on a remake of a game that I may already own or could buy it right now? 20 euros instead. Like, this remake will be available on two platforms, and one platform basically already has the game, and while obviously not as good looking and technically up to date, it's still to 95% the game that you will get in October. So from a POV of a PlayStation order, the 70 euro price tag on the remake seems in all honesty, probably not worth it. But, well, there is a second platform, a second side, and that is the PC users like me that because they never owned a PlayStation before in their lives now finally have the opportunity to play the story of Unto Dawn with their very own eyes and controller. Or a keyboard. But, let's be honest, who's gonna use a keyboard? I will use my Xbox controller to play the previous PlayStation exclusive on my PC with my Nintendo Switch next to me like a real game of sh**. Jokes aside, obviously for all the PC players out there this is a long time coming and of course buying the game to play it is worth it just of that fact alone. And yes, those technical and visual upgrades will make a difference and so will the minor new content. Even though I haven't played the game before, I've seen others play it for a combined time of easily over 100 hours in my life and more. This remake will provide a way more stunning and enhanced experience of the Unto Dawn world for a completely blind player while also providing a nostalgic and somewhat starstruck experience for people familiar with the game both both those that only seen it and even those that played it before. And yes, that does apply to the PlayStation 5 players as well. If you play or watch the original and then go ahead and play or watch the remake, the difference is going to blow your mind and that without 5 hours worth of new scenes and that on other platform. It will be a fresh experience in a visual way and even gameplay wise with the new camera and additional content. 
Nonetheless, a 70 euro price tag is brutal. And with that and like five more other games to pick up over the upcoming months, my wallet is bleeding. And it ultimately comes down to a discussion that goes beyond just Until Dawn, but gaming as a whole. Is 70 euros warranted for any game? Some would say fuck no, others would say it's not even enough. Like, let's assume this wasn't a remake but an original release. With Until Dawn's around 10 hour long story with replayability wearing a 70 euro price tag. On the other hand, with a huge open a word game like Elden Ring that has sheer unlimited build options and easily up to hundreds to hundreds of hours of value be warranted a 60 euro price tag? I think you know where I'm going with this. Comparing specific games next to another and then looking at the price of both sometimes can completely blow your mind. And some of those games would easily be worth even more than the price they're currently at and there's probably thousands of people that would still buy it at a higher price. And yet there's games that some people wouldn't buy at a higher price and only once they are sold for less, which is the entire point of sales. At the end of the day, it's a complete personal decision that you have to make based on your own opinion and obviously whatever or not you can and or want to afford it. Ultimately, here's what I would advise. The original Until Dawn is still one of the greatest horror games and horror stories ever released and it holds up really well and is more than worth its current 20 euro price tag and I would highly recommend it to any PlayStation 4 or 5 owner. If you as a PlayStation owner should buy the Until Dawn remake, whatever you own the original or not, is completely up to the mentioned things. Are the highly improved graphics, technical aspects, additional new content, new camera, more worth the 50 euro more in comparison to the original? Depends on if your wallet allows it and if you're willing to spend that much on a polished version of the original game. Personally, I would recommend the 20 euro original but would personally buy the remake if I didn't have the original yet. If I were to have it, I would probably have to think about it but would likely buy it on sale nonetheless. For the PC players, which I assume never owned a PlayStation or played the game before, it would definitely consider it worth it. And yes, I will buy it for the full price on release day even if the price tag is really really heavy, especially knowing I'm getting Star Wars Outlaws and it says which chatters for the same price tags over the upcoming months, two games that I will spend way more time with. Ultimately though, I once again want to make one thing very clear. While video games are my passion, hobby and in some way side job, they are ultimately still just a bonus and not a necessity. Which is why once again, while you as a player, but also as a person should decide whether or not the game is worth that much money for you. If it is, buy away and enjoy this remake of one of the best horror games ever upon release. And if it's not worth 70 euros for you, or you can't or don't want to afford that right now, then gladly wait till the game is on sale in the future and then buy it. The very short breakdown. If you're on a PlayStation, the original for 20 euros is more than enough and probably less yet better money spent, but if you can and want to afford the remake, it's definitely worth it as well. And if you were on PC, then the game is worth it either way, but also completely fine to wait till it's on sale. What do you think? Will you buy it upon release? Will you wait till it's on sale? Tell me everything you think about this topic down below in the comments, and I'll see you soon, and actually less than two weeks, with the casting of Frankstone. Thank you guys for watching, and see you around.